In this video, we're going to do a little exploration of inverses and derivatives that we're going to be able to use to derive the derivatives of inverse functions. So first off, let's st start with the formula that gives us degrees Celsius, y, in terms of degrees Fahrenheit, x. First off, if we wanted to get the inverse of this, we could just solve this equation for x. So first thing we would do is multiply both sides by 9 fifths, and we get 9 fifths y equals x minus 32, and then we would get x equals 9 fifths y plus 32. So now we can convert from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Now if we give these function names, say c of x equals the original that we were given, 5 ninths times the quantity x minus 32, and f of y equals 9 fifths y plus 32. Now we can do some things with compositions. In particular, let's see what happens when we compose f with c of x. So f of c of x which is going to be f of 5 ninths times x minus 32. That's going to go in for the y here into f. So we have 9 fifths times 5 ninths times x minus 32 plus 32. So what happens is the 9 fifths and the 5 ninths cancel. x minus 32 plus 32 just leaves us with x. We can do this in the opposite order and see what happens. Maybe we call it r of y, which will be c of f of y. So now we're putting f into c. You might already have an expectation of what's going to happen. This is a property of inverse functions, 9 fifths y plus 32. So I put that in for my x here, minus 32. So first thing, these 32's are going to cancel, then the 5 ninths and the 9 fifths cancel, and I get just y. Now, <clears throat> what's going to happen is, if I wanted to take the derivative of these functions, say if I wanted to, so this is going to be an important property in looking at the derivative of inverse functions. Now, let's say we wanted to find c prime of x. Well, that's going to be 5 ninths. It's a linear function with a slope of 5 ninths. f prime of y equals, same thing, 9 fifths. So notice how these functions are related. The values are just reciprocals of each other. The two functions undo each other. This part right here, composing inverses coming out to be where you started, is a key idea in deriving the derivative formulas for inverse functions such as ln of x, arcsine, and so on.